raising up an end-time army even now Song of Solomon 610, who is she that looketh forth as the morning, fair as the moon, clear as the sun, and terrible as an army with banners? Firstly I would like to make it clear, that she is not the daughters of Jerusalem, which are type of the church as a whole. Number 1. She looks forth, as the morning number 2. She is as fair as the moon number 3. She is as clear as the sun number 4. She is as terrible as army with banners she looks forth, as the morning the Lord's mercies are new every morning. She is full of hope. She does not wake up in the morning saying it's just another day to drudge through life. She wakes and says it's a new day. It's a great day. What a wonderful day to be alive. She is not saying this because of positive thinking it's because of the hope she has in her. She is not an optimist. She is full of faith and hope and the love of God is being shed abroad in her heart by the Holy Ghost. Each day is new and fresh and never the same as the day before. She is full of awe. Today is going to be a new day. What does my Lord have in store for me today she says in her heart. Weeping may endure for the night but joy cometh in the morning. Her night might have been full of tears and trial but the morning is coming and it's another day to please her Lord. She is fair as the moon the moon has no light of its own. Just as the moon only reflects the light of the sun so she only reflects the light of her Lord, the Son of Righteousness. She has no light of her own, and without him she is cold and dark with a heart of stone. With him she reflects his light and rules the night even as the moon rules the night. Because of the light of her Lord, she is not afraid of night, when evil is at its peak, instead she rules with her Lord. She is clear as the sun the sun is the light that rules by day. She not only rules with her Lord by night, she also rules with him by day. She is not the sun however she is as clear as the sun. She will never be the sun but she can be like the sun. She is pure and on fire, and radiates the very life of God to the world. Today the world worships the sun as its very life. Sun worship is practiced from the Vatican to Washington D.C. It is true that everything on planet earth would die without the sun, however Jesus Christ the Son of God is eternal life and you will die eternally without him. Malachi 4:14. Behold, the day cometh, that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly, shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Malachi 4 2 But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth, and grow up as calves of the stall. She is, as terrible as an army with banners God is raising up an end-time army even now. She is fearless and walks, as Jesus walked on this earth. Her weapons are not carnal, they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. The banner over her is love. There is no fear in love, because God's love perfected in us casts out fear. She walks with such splendor that all that behold will experience the sheer terror of the Lord. Though she is harmless she is terrible because her Lord is with her. You can read about her in the book of Joel. Peter began to speak of this army on the day of Pentecost, when he said but this is, that which was spoken by the prophet Joel, Acts 2.17 And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, Acts 2.18 And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy, Acts 2.19 And I will shew wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood, and fire, and vapor of smoke, Acts 2.20 The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before that great and notable day of the Lord come, Joel 2.9 They shall run to and fro in the city, they shall run upon the wall, they shall climb up upon the houses, they shall enter in at the windows like a thief. Joel 2.10 The earth shall quake before them, the heavens shall tremble, the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining, 
Joel 2.11 And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for he is strong that executeth his word, for the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? Malachi 4.3 And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day, that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts.